Well, sometimes, you know, they get reports on 911 that a Spetsnaz commando is infiltrating the DCYF building. I mean, but this has way. happened before. It has happened, but I... It sounds like you guys are coming in here trying to enforce something that's not wholly upfront and truthful so that you can be feelings police. You need, like, what? medical or something? Nope. So, so, right now, this is what we have, right? If you don't leave, we're gonna trespass you from the building, okay? And what business is this? I really, I can't share that with you, man. Okay, then we can't allow people up video recording and taking pictures yeah. of them. We're just trying to close it. They they don't feel uh, safe with you here. They want you to just close, so you can just go over there. Because this is the DCYF, and because we do have confidential things going on. Oh, we what can't kind of confidential just things people, you got going on? You know, we can't just let people just come in and just start recording. Oh, really? Dude, instead of a police officer, you need to get a job as a fantasy novel writer because you are just making stuff up on the fly right now. Do you have a manager for yourself? And if so, who is that manager? She is not in today. What's her name? She's, I, I'm not giving the name. What's the criteria for entering? Um, most likely showing your ID. Well, there's multiple things I'm here for. So how do you already know? Are you like an ancient diviner or a wizard or something? I mean, how do you know what I'm here for? I mean, that's kind of weird. I Hey everyone, I am free. It's May 16th, 2024, in the city of West Seattle. I should say I'm in West Seattle. I am in King County in Washington State. I'm heading back to the Department of Children, Youth, and Families for the Office of Indian Child Welfare. You may remember that story here. I'm going back to uh, make sure everything is good for my last visit, as you may recall or if you just got done watching the story I linked to, there was a disagreement about being able to be in publicly available places. So I'm gonna go check that out. Oh, how's it going? Pretty good. Good. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good, a little tired. Right. Good, a little tired? So. All right. Well, are they gonna lock in the doors now? Uh, we gotta do controlled entry for controlled. for a little bit. Uh, wow, yeah. what happened? How you doing? Hey, Bill. Uh, we have a meeting with DCYF. Oh, uh, wives. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll be upstairs. Thank you. All right. So yeah. what happened with the... Uh, 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 just follow in order until otherwise. Wow. So uh, because there's multiple tenants, who told you to lock the building down? Uh, it was passed down to us. I'm not sure specifically from who, but we're just doing it until otherwise. Post it. Gotcha. Okay. Well, good to see you again. I'll go ask DC where I have. Hey, Hi. how you doing? I'm pretty good at him. Good, I'm having a good day. I was wondering if there is a manager available, a supervisor, manager. Um, just a moment. I'm okay, gonna appreciate it. it. She is out of the meeting. You bet, thank you. Hello. Hey, I uh, got a question for you. Got a question for you. I was just downstairs. Uh, Pierce and uh, I think the other guy's name is Luke. I can't remember. Uh, the other security officer uh, let me in, but I noticed the access to the building, it's locked. And they were saying that they were given instructions to lock the building. Uh, I know there's multiple tenants in this building. So do you know who gave the instructions to security to lock the publicly available building? I'm not going to be able to give you this information, sir. 
Um, can you please let me know why you are here for? Yeah, I'm here to first of all find out about that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to give you this information. Do you know who would be able to? Um, uh, yes, probably the person who ordered it, but this person is not in the office. Do you know who ordered it? I'm not so sure. Uh, yes, probably the person who ordered it, but this person is not in the office. Okay, so it's just a mystery because they're, they're saying downstairs they were ordered to close it. I'm just trying to figure out why the building's now locked to the public unless randomly they decide to let you in since it is a publicly available building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to answer that. Gotcha. I, is it a publicly available building? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a public. Yeah. Okay. What's the criteria for entering? Most likely showing your ID. Most likely showing your ID. Um, and having a, an appointment in the building if there's no reason for you to be in the building. Gotcha. So you're saying, I just want to make sure I'm understanding. And, and by the way, who are you? Uh, I'm the office manager. Okay, what's your name? It's what? My name is Fernanda. Fernanda. And uh, what's your last name? I don't need to give you that. Are you a public employee? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just asking for identity. I'm just trying to figure out what your name is as a state employee and then what your title is. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I, I'm not able to help you. You can't I, help me with your title? Uh, I can't help you with what you are here for. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Well, there's multiple things I'm here for. So how do you already know? Are you like an ancient diviner or a wizard or something? I mean, how do you know what I'm here for? I mean, that's kind of weird. I am asking. Well, I asked you, and you said that you wanted to know why the doors are locked. Oh yeah, that's that's one of that's several. Clear, right? That's one of several reasons why I'm here. So ultimately, it sounds like you have some familiarity with who would have ordered it because you had said the person that ordered it. So. You're obviously aware of it. So is it yeah, DCYF that's I'm, I'm controlling not it? The information. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm not releasing the information. I You're not going to release it? Info, so. Gotcha. So are you also, based on what you said, I got another question for you. Um, is it your opinion that you do have to show identification to come into this building? Uh, y yes, we, we should show identification to enter the building. Y yes. Gotcha. So since you're a state employee, you work for the government, are you are you actually saying I, you're in order to get in, I have to acquiesce and give up my Fourth Amendment liberties to enter my building? Oh, my. Okay. Seriously? Uh, Is that what's happening no, here? No, that's not what I'm saying. I, I am really sorry. You're saying I have to show I ID. That's a Fourth Amendment violation. And give you the information you asked, okay? Well, that's part of it. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ma'am, I don't think you understand what you're saying here. You're literally saying that people have to violate their Fourth Amendment liberties to, to gain access. Why is that the case? I am really sorry, but I have a meeting, and I already told Wow, that's a really convenient meeting. meeting. All right, so basically, DCY has a bunch of Fourth Amendment violators. Ma'am, any additional comment? That is crazy. Literally got a manager to speak to who says you have to show ID to enter the building. There is nothing that stipulates that whatsoever. They've locked the building down, but she's admitting that it's a public building. But you have to have, according to her, an appointment to get in here and you have to show your ID. So you are not secure in your persons, your properties, and your effects 
if you come to the Department of Children, Youth, and Families for the Office of Indian Child Welfare. That's the, so, I mean, basically it's just a, a significant rights violation here. That's uh, pretty, pretty shocking. Um, I mean, they've obviously had some sort of a conversation up the food chain, but this makes absolutely no sense why they're behaving like this. And she doesn't want to convey the information. So uh, honestly, it is, seems like a 50-50 whether she's willing to provide the information as to who gave the order or if it's just not a true statement that the order was given and it's just them wanting to enforce some sort of a feeling. I don't know. It's, it's frankly pretty strange. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke, I got a question for you. See, and here it is right here. It says, end of public space. I mean, this is clearly indicating right here that this is public space. I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can ask Pierce. Hey, Pierce. Yes, sir. So, I'm really confused. I just went upstairs, and I may be mispronouncing your name, so if I am, correct me if I'm wrong, please. I think her name is Fonda, Fonda? She's a manager upstairs, older lady, kind of salt and pepper hair. Sounds, doesn't sound familiar, okay. Uh, anyway, so I spoke with the receptionist, the one that was here when I was here on Monday. Yep. Um, she went and got a manager. She's saying, in order to enter the building, I have to surrender my Fourth Amendment liberties, and I have to have an appointment. Have you been instructed that that's the case? Uh, I have not. Okay. Um, and I mean, I want to be clear. So no, no, I get you. No, that, that's a new one for me. Okay. I mean, what that, that might be what they're saying. I just don't know for sure. Yeah, fair enough. Because it's it's a it's a bit odd to me because her exact words was that I had to identify to come into the building, which of course would be surrendering my, surrendering my Fourth Amendment liberties because I wouldn't be secure in my person's properties and effects per the Constitution. So in this case, that's what's going on. Is there any way you can check with, because uh, Luke is uh, just like in the back corridors, he's not willing to come out. Um, Give me just one. Yeah, you bet. Um, so the thing that I'm confused about is Obviously, her statement that I have to identify, in essence, I have to surrender my Fourth Amendment liberties to enter a public building. There's still signs all throughout that says, like if you're upstairs, for example, uh, on the doors, it says this is the end of public space. So obviously, up to that point, it's public space. So I guess I'm still confused. If it's public space, why are the doors locked and who told you that? So um, as far as the, the public space thing, that's actually something that they come up with. We just follow the instructions as we're told. So it's DCYF that's been given the instructions. We get our, for specifically who, I, I'm not at liberty because I don't know, but all of that comes from them upstairs and then oh, whenever they Okay, come that from, answers my question. Whatever. Is DCYF then? Okay. okay. Yeah, because there's only two tenants in the building as far as I know. It's DCYF up and DOL down, right? Pretty much, yeah. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go try to figure it out with them then. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you clarifying. So, oh, sorry. I just spoke with Pierce downstairs, and he clarified is definitely DCYF that ordered the locking of the doors downstairs. So, I'm just trying to figure out who it was then that ordered that because that's what the security guard said. I'm not sure about it. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you're done with your meeting. Yeah, I'm not done with my meeting, and um, we are not able to help you. So uh, I'm really sorry about that. But how come? We are not able to help. I'm sorry because we can't help you. I'm really sorry. Well, how do you know? You haven't even heard all my questions. Wow. This is crazy. This is them picking winners and losers. This is DCYF for OICW deciding who they're going to help and who they're not going to help based on 
whatever random whimsical criteria it is that they have. And I mean, you can tell from the manager here, she does not want to assist. Uh, she's just basically cutting everything off right from the get-go about whether aid is gonna be rendered. Well, Pierce, sorry to have to run back and forth here and uh, uh -huh. keep asking all these questions, but the uh, mystery deepens. So now she's just, the manager um, is saying that she just can't help. She doesn't know anything. Um, which obviously is a bit bizarre because uh, I trust that when you say they, them being upstairs, had instructed all of this to occur, that's exactly what occurred. Now they appear to be feigning. Oh, you want me to let them know about, I'll let them know about the OL. Are you looking for the driver's license? Yes, please. Yeah, you got to go around back downstairs. Oh, back and around back, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Um, See, still got those mad skills, Pierce. <laughs> I'm rolling hard with it. I feel like it's like a lifelong skill I've learned at this point. Um, so now that it seems like they're feigning knowledge about who's ordered the building to be closed, and it would, it would have to be one of two people. Well, I guess it could be one of three. I highly doubt your security company is ordering DCYF and DOL to lock the building. Uh, that just doesn't make any sense to me because you guys don't own it. So um, what, would, what was it that DCYF said as far as criteria to enter? That would be between them and our bosses. Uh, what I, I mean is like if a random person, like just Steve the random person walks up right now and says, I want to come into the building, what are you going to tell them? I just pretty much ask, is there an appointment being made or what specifically they're here for. Typically when people come here, they usually have an appointment or okay. they have some type of meeting okay. or they're looking for DOL. Gotcha, so if they're not here for DOL and they say, I don't have an appointment, um, would you let them in? I mean, technically I can, but that hasn't happened. So you're pretty much the first one. Gotcha, okay. Um, but have you been instructed? Yeah, you bet. Have you been instructed that it's up to you to decide whether or not that person comes in? Well, I haven't gotten anything like that because, like I said, typically the only ones that ever really come here are those that actually have some type and of me. meeting, or purpose, reasoning, or whatever, or they're looking for a DOL. Gotcha. Okay, I'll go ask some more questions. Hi. Do you have a manager for yourself, and if so, who is that manager? She is not in today. What's her name? She's, I, I'm not giving the name. You're not. So basically, you're gonna be treating me poorly as you have. Oh, no. I you've have you've clearly so got some sort of an issue here, and you don't want to be held to account. So you're just gonna walk away, ma'am. That's really inappropriate. That is really shocking. Oh. Whoa! I just noticed that authorized personnel only. Okay. Well, then that deep is that that was not here. Uh, Monday. Is that? Would you agree with that? That authorized personnel was not here on Monday. It was not. Okay. Do you know who put that up? Was it you guys? No. It was DCYF. It might have been DCYF or one of the other employees of the building. I'm not too sure. But uh, no, it wasn't us. Random chance. Is there any possibility it could have been a leprechaun? <laughs> Uh, I would hope not. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Or gremlins. All right. Those signs were. Yeah, I do remember these signs. Yeah. Okay, so DCYF uh, put a sign there. So they're acknowledging that the accessible areas is this lobby and then to upstairs. Okay. check out the little corridor. I think what I'm going to do, let's try this. Let's do a field test. 
I actually didn't get to my business last time for DOL, which I do have some business. I'm gonna go do that business. I'm then gonna cycle around and see if the criteria for entering this building changes between right this moment and a few minutes when I come back. I'm gonna do that, so. Um, yeah, so I'll go around and check that out and then I'll come back up here and see if we're good to go. I'm also curious if I come back up top if the criteria is going to change between now and uh, then. Hello. Hello. Looking to see if there. Looking to see if there's a manager available. Huh? Looking to see if there's a manager available. Oh, okay, yeah. Thanks. I'm so sorry. We just moved here, so I don't know where anything is. And yeah, our what? office manager is not here today. Okay. I didn't see Dale's, but I did see where you can call that communications number and you could ask them any questions as well. Gotcha. Who's um, security here? So generally, who gets that problem probably just call the police, it sounds like. For the, for the for sure. Gotcha. Like hopefully okay. we never had that problem. Well, no, I get that. I'm just saying, like, uh, upstairs they just have their own security. I can't remember the name of the security company, but I was here working on a story uh, on Monday, and they ended up making some odd statements um, saying that you guys had closed at 4.55. Are you telling me that DCYF and the Department of Licensing are closed right now? Because I here's here's I just want to be careful. I want you to be careful here. I will do a public records request on on DOL if I find a single machine did a single thing for a single citizen between four fifty eight and five o'clock. I will bring business. a civil suit down on everyone in this building the likes yeah, you've that, never heard of before. They're not saying it's closed. The head of the building we just spoke to and she yes. had us clear everybody out. You guys close at that time? We close at five. At five. Yes. Yeah, I kind of felt that was the case. DOL's pretty much on that. I mean, because everybody needs their stuff. And yeah. you guys on Saturdays, we close at 2.45, though. Okay, yeah. But no, that was a yeah. Monday, so. Okay, yes. well, that actually No, answers. Mondays, we're not open. So this office here is open from Tuesday to Saturday. <coughs> so some offices are, you know, I, have different hours. Tuesday when I was here. Then, okay, so I yeah, people are at 5. Here. I'm yeah. just mixing up the days. Anyways, really appreciate it. You're have a good welcome. Day. Take care now. You too. That's interesting because if you go back to the story, the original one, they said that they were closed downstairs. That means the police didn't even look into it at all. They were totally lying. I know, we're all shocked by this. Thank you, sir. Okay. The mystery has deepened even further. We're getting close to the center of the earth on this one. It's okay. so deep. So I just went down and asked DOL some questions because as you may recall when I was here last that the one of the explanations from Officer Ruiz and I think it was Luke. No, it wasn't. It was the lady. I, I never got her name. The one that was down here with the Marvel t-shirt mm. from upstairs. Yeah. Mm. So both her and Officer Ruiz had stated that the building was closed. Are you telling me that DCYF and the Department of Licensing are closed right now? Because I here's, here's I just want to be careful. I want you to be careful here. I will do a public records request on, on DOL. If I find a single machine did a single thing for a single citizen between 4.58 and 5 o'clock, I will bring business. a civil suit down on everyone in this building the likes yeah, you've that, never heard of before. They're not saying it's the closed. The head of the building we just spoke to and she yes. had us clear everybody out. If you recall, that's what, what was said. Now I just went downstairs. Being the ever clever guy I am, I asked you well. I said, were you closed at 458, 455, whatever? Mm -hmm. Nope. Because she said, the supervisor I spoke with. They never, ever close before 5 p.m. You guys close at that time? We close at 5. At 5. Yeah. So it's impossible that the building agent ended up closing it beforehand 
because the notion that came from both her and Officer Ruiz is that they themselves had closed downstairs and it would require all tenants to be closed for this building to be completely closed, right? So why did Officer Ruiz and her say that the entire building was being closed and that, and I specifically said, so DOL is closed. If you remember, I said, I'm gonna do a public records request. I'm gonna see if any transactions occurred between 4.58 and five o'clock PM. Mm. There were transactions that happened. So Officer Ruiz, definitely him, lied, blatant lie. Possibly the young lady that was here okay. as well. Why would that have happened? So now I will say this, as far as DOL, we don't deal with them. So now because they're a separate entity than us, they may run their business differently. So if it was told to you, and I kind of missed that because I was doing a report. Mm -hmm. So if it was told to you that the entire building was closed, I missed that. Gotcha. But this building, this area was closed. This I don't part know of the about building. DOL. This part of the building. This. Gotcha. Yeah. I, don't about, I don't know about DOL because we don't deal with them. They're a separate entity than we are. So if it was told to you that it was more so directed about DCYF, gotcha. not DOL. And one of the things uh, that also came up was, uh, if you recall, uh, maybe, maybe not, Officer Reed said they closed at 430 because it was getting onto the weekend and they were leaving. But even though, even though they're listed as being open till five, mm -hmm. they closed at four thirty. Is it your uh, understanding? Because I remember you telling me you've been doing security here for a bit. Do they frequently close at four thirty? It depends. All we know. So, so the thing is, all we really know is, you know, they're here when they're here. They leave when they leave. Gotcha. Um, oh, so do they leave sometimes earlier than four thirty? I mean, it's possible. I've seen it happen. You have seen it happen. Yeah. Okay. What's the earliest you've ever seen them leave? Uh, that I don't honestly remember. Because wow. normally, I mean, I'm here until late, so. DCYF is just literally making up rules on the fly. They don't want to identify themselves. They don't want to explain who their management is. So just imagine this for a moment. The original story was about allegations of mistreatment of Native American children who are coming to seek child welfare services at this office. So if the idea is that there's issues, someone may want to make a complaint. Now the tips and leads I got were that those complaints went unaddressed. Nobody ended up handling them. Now I wonder why that is. Probably because the employees are not identifying themselves and they have no way to end up explaining that so-and-so person was in fact the one that allegedly violated their rights and or their liberties so i think we have a, a pretty clear-cut case here everyone and comment below and let me know what you think but i think this is a situation where it's pretty clear that the dcyf office of indian children welfare child welfare is definitely having some serious problems there <laughs> 